Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the value of k for this given quadratic equation and we have been given four different scenarios. We have to find the value of k when this quadratic equation has equal roots, two different roots, no real roots, two real roots. And one more thing, just keep in your mind that this, wherever you see roots, roots are exactly same as we call them solutions, zeros, or x values. They are synonymous. So let's get started with the very first part. In this one, we are going to find the value of k for this given quadratic equation if the roots are same or equal. So before we go any further, let's recall the discriminant is always equal to b square minus 4ac. And let's look at our given quadratic equation. This quadratic equation is in a standard form. Let's identify a, b, and c. In our case, a equals to 5. I'm going to write it up here. b is k and c is 20. So same or equal roots means that the discriminant must be equal to zero. Let's write it down. b square minus 4ac must be equal to zero. Let's fill in the blanks. b in our case is k square minus 4a is 5 c is 20 equal to 0. Let's simplify k square minus 400 equal to 0. Let's move this 400 on the other side. So we simply got k square equals to 400. Let's get rid of this square so we're going to take the square root on both sides. So simply, once you do like this one, we got k equals to positive or negative 20. So thus k equals to negative 20 and k equals to positive 20 is our answer. And in this next part, we are going to find the value of k for this given quadratic equation if it has two distinct or different roots. And in this case, the discriminant b square minus 4ac must be greater than 0. Let's fill in the blanks. b square minus 4 times ac is greater than 0. We know b is k square minus 4 times a is 5 c is 20 which is greater than 0 let's simplify k square minus 400 is greater than 0 let's move this negative 400 on the other side so we got k square is greater than 400 and in this case the inequality when it is greater than then we're going to write as this could be written as k is less than negative 20 or k is greater than 20 and now you might be wondering why did i put k is less than negative 20 or k is greater than 20 here i'm going to give you quick kind of explanation right up here as you can see that this our function represents a parabola parabola that means this function is called parabola by the way and since we have this function is greater than zero means we're going to be looking at the graph above x-axis if you look at the above x-axis right up here as you can see that we have a this shaded region on two opposite direction one is going towards right the other one is going towards the left right now the right of positive 20 and the left of negative 20 
So since they are in the opposite direction, no wonder I put down k on this left hand side is less than negative 20 on the left hand side and on the right hand side is going to be k is greater than 20. So thus k is less than negative 20 or k is greater than 20 is our answer. And in this next part we are going to find the value of k if this quadratic equation has no real roots. No real roots means it has got to be imaginary or complex roots. So in this case the discriminant b square minus 4ac must be less than 0. So let's fill in the blanks b square minus 4 ac is less than 0. In our case b is k square minus 4 times a is 5 c is 20 is less than 0 so this is going to become k square minus 400 is less than 0. Let's move this 400 on the other side so k square is less than 400. So we have once again inequality where it is less than. So in this case we're going to have k is in between negative 20 and positive 20. And now you might be wondering why did I put k is in between negative 20 and positive 20. Here let me give you a quick kind of explanation. First of all this function represents uh, this kind of graph called parabola. So we have at this time inequality is less than. Less than means that means we are looking at the graph that is below x-axis. So if you look at the shaded region below x-axis you can see this is restricted between negative 20 and positive 20. So no wonder our k value is going to be in between negative 20 and positive 20. In other words, it is just a sandwich between negative 20 and positive 20. So thus our solution turns out to be k is in between negative 20 and positive 20 and that is our answer. And finally in this part we are going to find the value of this k when this given quadratic equation has simply two real roots. So in that case the discriminant b square minus 4 times ac must be greater than or equal to 0. So let's get started. b square minus 4 ac is greater than equal to 0. Let's fill in the blanks. So b is k simply square minus 4 times a is 5, c is 20 is greater than or equal to 0. Let's simplify k square minus 400 is greater than or equal to 0. Let's move this negative 400 on the other side. So we are going to get k square is greater than or equal to 400 and in that scenario we're going to have k is less than or equal to negative 20 or k is greater than or equal to positive 20. This is much like the same kind of problem that we did in our B part. So thus k is less than or equal to negative 20 or k is greater than or equal to 20 is our answer. And finally here is your assignment. Can you do this problem on your own exactly the same way I modeled it? Take your time. You can pause the video. Luckily I have already uploaded this video as well. Please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.